Well, we learned during the Cold War that many institutions don't do well when the great powers disagree. Indeed, if you go back to the United Nations, which in some ways is the, the most basic of, of the multilateral institutions, it created the Security Council. It gave the five countries that were anticipated to be the great powers of the post-World War II world, it gave them all a veto. And the entire premise of that veto was these institutions should not be used by one great power against another. If that meant they were to be gridlocked, so be it. That was seen as essential to preserve the integrity and the, the potential of the uh, institutions. So the U.S.-Soviet Cold War has come and gone as, as the Soviet Union, but now you've got a Russia that in many cases opposes uh, what the United States wants to do in the world. And in many instances now you have China that opposes what the United States wants to do in the world. So that, that suggests that institutions like the United Nations uh, will not be terribly effective uh, going forward. They're, these institutions tend to be reflections of great power politics and rivalry much more than drivers of, uh, of what happens in history. In almost every instance, these institutions are a reflection of what the countries, and we're mainly talking about countries or governments, uh, want them to be or, or allow them to be. Uh, the, the best analogy I ever heard is to criticize the UN or criticize any of these organizations for what it is they do or, or fail to do is like criticizing Madison Square Garden for the Knicks. Yes, the Knicks are one of the worst teams in basketball, but it's hardly Madison Square Garden's fault. And that's how I feel about the, the UN and these other uh, institutions. They were designed in large part so they could not be instruments for one great power to, use, uh, to be used against another. In many cases, there's a lack of consensus, or even when there's some agreement, there's a lack of willingness to put resources behind it. So when institutions turn out to be feckless, you can rail on against the institutions. But if you dig down about two inches, almost always it's because one or more of the major powers does not want the institution to be effective.